Good morning. Today we will discuss the rearrangement, autumn rearrangement. Autumn rearrangement. What is autumn rearrangement? Look at here. When? When? N halo acetanilide. is treated with with the corresponding halo acid halo acid will undergo a rearrangement to give para halo acetanilide para halo acetanilide with a small amount of ortho halo acetanilide This rearrangement is known as autumn rearrangement. What is autumn rearrangement? When N halo acetanilide, N halo acetanilide is treated with the corresponding halo acid, then what will happen? This N halo acetanilide will undergo a rearrangement to give para halo acetanilide as the major product and ortho halo acetanilide as a minor product. This rearrangement is known as autumn rearrangement. So keep it in mind when N halo acetanilide, N halo acetanilide is treated with halogen acid, halo acid will undergo a rearrangement. N halo acetanilide. N halo acetanilide. What is acetanilide? Acetanilide is, look at it here, acetanilide. Acetanilide means uh, N aryl acetamide. N aryl acetamide or N phenyl acetamide. So acetanilide is uh, N phenyl, N phenyl acetamide. N phenyl acetamide. What is acetamide? Acetamide. Acetamide is CH3 CO NH2. This is acetamide. CH3 CO NH2 is acetamide. Now, what is N phenyl acetamide? One hydrogen atom is replaced by a phenyl group. Okay. This is N phenyl acetamide. This N phenyl acetamide is known as acetanilide. Okay. So acetanilide, N phenyl acetamide. Acetanilide is uh, N phenyl acetamide. So CH3, or we can write NH CO CH3. Okay, what is this one? N phenyl acetamide. N phenyl acetamide. This is known as uh, acetanilide. Now we need uh, N halo acetanilide. N halo acetanilide means one more hydrogen atom is present in the nitrogen. This hydrogen atom is replaced by a halogen. Okay. What is this one? This is N halo. This is N chloro. N halo acetanilide. This N halo acetanilide. N halo acetanilide. When treated with uh, halo acid, that means uh, the corresponding halo acid means. Uh, which is the halogen is present in the N halo acetanilide. It's halo acid. That means uh, if it is Cl means uh, HCl. Then what will happen? This N halo acetanilide, N halo acetanilide will undergo a rearrangement to give para halo acetanilide. Para halo acetanilide. That means in the para position, 
there is a, uh, this halogen para halo acetanilide that means uh, nhco ch3 nhco ch3 that means a uh, para halo uh, this is acetanilide this is acetanilide what is this one this is n halo acetanilide and if we get para halo acetanilide that means uh, the chlorine is migrated from the halogen is migrated from halogen is migrating from nitrogen to the nucleus okay nitrogen from the nitrogen to the nucleus of the ring okay that uh, and with a small amount of uh, uh, par, uh, ortho isomer okay ortho chloro or ortho hala acetanilide nhcoch3 this rearrangement is known as uh, orton rearrangement so n halo acetanilide or in general we can say that uh, n ha n halo aryl amide n halo aryl amide instead of uh, a particular example this particular example is n chloro acetanilide n chloro acetanilide or generally you can say n halo what is that uh, aryl amide n halo aryl amide n halo aryl amide when treated with uh, halo acid will undergo a rearrangement to give uh, para halo aryl amide and ortho halo halo aryl aryl amide this rearrangement is known as orton rearrangement now we can go through the mechanism of this uh, uh, rearrangement So we take the example N chloro acetanilide, N chloro acetanilide, that means uh, N chloro acetanilide, N, here it is uh, Cl, okay, CO, CH3, CO, CH3, N chloro acetanilide, N chloro acetanilide uh, is treated with uh, HCl, HCl, okay, HCl, and we know that uh, here nitrogen is acting as a Lewis base because uh, uh, this compound is acting as a Lewis base because due to the presence of lone pair electron this will abstract this lone pair will uh, take these protons H plus and here it of course Cl minus is there this uh, lone pair will abstract this uh, proton and we get uh, look at it here here it is uh, our ring is here and here it is N H here it is Cl and C CO uh, CO CH3 CO CH3 okay uh, COCH3 and of course uh, the hydrogen nitrogen atom will get a positive charge okay because this lone pair electron this lone pair electron is donated to the proton and making a new bond and therefore N is getting a positive charge and in the next step you can see that uh, now this proton is uh, 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 removed uh, moved to here to nitrogen that Cl minus is there this Cl minus see the cl minus will abstract uh, cl plus okay that means and what will happen to this bond this bond is uh, uh, shifting to nitrogen and what will be eliminated cl minus and cl plus minus cl2 cl2 molecule is uh, uh, eliminated eliminated and what is happening in the, uh, this bond pair electron this bond pair electron is uh, moving to nitrogen and therefore uh, the no more uh, positive charge and look at it here this is our structure Okay, here it is. Uh, okay, uh, what is that? Uh, NH, NH, uh, CO, uh, CH3. NH, CO, CH3. Correct? We are getting this compound. Uh, we get uh, uh, N, uh, uh, we get uh, uh, what is that? Uh, phenyl uh, acetamide, uh, phenyl acetamide. Okay. Uh, 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 we get uh, uh, the, this compound, uh, we get this compound. Now look at here, we are continuing. Okay. Uh, this is our uh, uh, acetanilide, this is our uh, acetanilide and uh, acetanilide and we continue with that. Okay. So our uh, N chloro acetanilide is converted to acetanilide, this is acetanilide. And what will happen? You look at here. Okay. Okay. Uh, I am writing the same compound. NH. NH. CO. Uh, 
All right, let me uh, continue from here only. This is acetanilide. Right, acetanilide. And uh, acetanilide, then what will happen? This, here the chlorine a molecule is removed. Okay, this chlorine, this chlorine, that means uh, Cl2 can be written as Cl, 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 Cl. Okay, Cl, Cl. Now what will happen? Uh, like our uh, ordinary electrophilic substitution reaction. What is that? Electrophilic substitution reaction. Aromatic compounds will give electrophilic substitution reaction. That means uh, this bond, this bond breaks from this carbon and uh, it is uh, attaching to Cl and uh, this breaks. Clear? Okay, that means uh, this bond, this bond, this bond breaks from this carbon and it is uh, joining with uh, Cl and what is eliminating minus, minus Cl minus, minus Cl minus is eliminated and we get a structure like this. Okay, okay, here it is, uh, here it is, uh, ah, what is that, uh, Cl and of course this bond is here, this bond is here and here it is uh, NH, uh, CO. Uh, CH3, NHCO, CH3 and of course uh, since the bond is breaking from this carbon, this carbon is getting a positive charge, this carbon is getting a positive charge, acetanilide with a trace amount of, uh, with a trace amount of uh, orthochloroacetanilide, NHCO, CH3, okay. Uh, this is the uh, uh, mechanism of uh, Orton rearrangement. So in Orton rearrangement, what is happening? N halo acetanilide, N halo acetanilide or N halo aryl amide is converted into halo aryl amide, halo ortho and para halo aryl amide. This conversion is known as Orton rearrangement. This is a symbol. Uh, rearrangement and uh, that's all about uh, Orton rearrangement. So the usefulness of uh, Orton rearrangement is the preparation of uh, what is that uh, 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 ortho and para halo aryl amides. So ortho and para halo aryl amides. Uh, particular example ortho and para halo acetamide. Ortho and para chloro uh, 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 acetanilides. Okay, ortho and para chloro acetanilides. Okay, and uh, thank you.